everyone welcome to my channel my name is Liz thank you so much for stopping by I have another unboxing today and look how cute this is it's called the garden dragons um, a field guide to the garden dragons it is the artwork is by Stanley Morrison and it is written by Arwen Lynch uh, I got it on magic planet now it's I think it's just magic.com and it's just so cute and you know, I just did that other video of the um, butterfly dragons, and this just reminded me of it. I think it's going to work really well with it. Um, it's just so adorable. And let's see. Uh, it's a deck and book set. Now, it is 46 cards, and it's got a 130-page guide book, 138-page guide book. So I think it's going to be pretty thin, but all right, we'll see what, we'll see what there is in there. And it says, you never know where you'll spot a garden dragon. It could be on your travels, on a nature walk, or even in your own backyard. This whimsical deck presents 46 adorable dragons, uh, dragons each with a mystical message to share. The 138-page illustrated guidebook gives delightful descriptions so you can identify dragons to help you with their magic and wisdom. Uh, and it is put out by U.S. Games, which usually they have the tuck boxes, so I like the fact that they have a regular box, but I'm kind of like wondering how small these cards actually are, or how thin, I should say. I guess it doesn't matter how thin they are. It depends on the quality, because the, some people, like MJ Cullinane, she uses like casino uh, grade cardstock for her cards, and... They are thin, but they don't bend easily. They bounce back quite quite easily, and that's kind of like the um, marker for a good card, I guess. But, you know, sometimes they're too thin, too, and flimsy. There's a difference. All right, look how cute. <laughs> so freaking cute. I love it. Oh, my God, I love dragons, especially little baby dragons. Um, oh, it actually has a cute book. Now let's see, is it all in English? Because some of the books have um, different languages, which is fine, but it's just, sometimes it's only a little small. But no, it's actually the whole thing. Well, that's good. Let's see, instructions, which, you know, you just shuffle and pick a card for the most part. And then it goes straight to the dragons. Oh, okay, hey, I'm impressed. US games, you know, you're stepping up your game here a little bit. Now they are thin, okay? I mean, 46 cards, usually it would be about that thick, you know, but whatever. Let's see, uh, you know, of course, I don't, wasn't expecting that. I got, I'm gonna move the camera a little bit because I need my scissors. Hold on, I wasn't expecting. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. It is what it is, okay. Forget that US games they usually have plastic on the inside as well, which honestly is kind of redundant. If you have it on the outside, you don't need it on the inside, but okay. Well, I don't want to hurt the cards, so let's see if I can do this without causing any damage, which I just did. Okay, dokey. This should be pretty quick. I will read a couple from the book couple of pages. Okay. Yeah, actually they're thin, but they're not bad. Let's see. They bounce pretty good. They're not, that's weird. They're not, um, they're thin, but they don't feel flimsy. It's hard to describe. It's hard to describe. That's the back, which is adorable. Look at this. Oh my God, these are so cute. <laughs> I love these, they're so cute. So, Apple Dragon, and the uh, description word is health. And I love that there's no real border, just this little border at the bottom, I love that. Fantastic. Artichoke Dragon, guarded. Look how cute. Asparagus Dragon, consistent. Avocado Dragon, patience. Oh, so cute. Banana Dragon, Gather. I mean, how clever do you have to be to come up with this? Oh, so clever. 
Blackberry Dragon Timing, Blueberry Dragon Goals. Look how cute he is. Now I can try to figure out, where's that, is that his eyeball there? Hmm. They're all a little bit, di they're all a lot different, not a little bit different. Oh my God, this one's so cute. Broccoli Dragon Place. Cantaloupe Dragon Realign. Carrot Dragon Observe. Oh, so cute. Celery Dragon Renewal. Cherry Dragon Grace. Speaking of cherries, don't mind my fingernails. I've been actually picking cherries for a while now and of course they're on my tree so I have to like check each one to make sure there's no, no little critter inside so I'm opening them by hand <laughs> They stain your hands and your nails pretty badly, so. Coconut Dragon Multitask. I love coconut. Look how cute. Oh my God, guys, they have a coffee dragon. That's gonna be my mascot, because I love coffee. Whatever kind, I love coffee. Energy, how adorable. Corn, and I love corn too. <laughs> corn dragon friends. Oh, and look, it's got a little butterfly there. And it's got a little corn, um, candy corn. <laughs> That's so clever. I love it. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Adorable. Cranberry dragon prosperity. I love the colors in this with the green and red like that. It's beautiful. It has the um, pine cones. It's got that Christmas feel to it. Oh, love it. Fruit dragon, I'm um, sorry, dragon fruit dragon. Oh, okay. <laughs> Defense. Eggplant dragon, fun. Garlic dragon, boundaries. Oh my God, these are adorable. Oh, I hope this deck takes off because I think this is so cute. Gooseberry dragon, stealth. Grape jelly dragon, childlike. Oh, so adorable. Honeydew Dragon, Gratitude. Kiwi Dragon, Fertile. Lemon Lime Dragon, Union. Oh, I love how they did the two heads. That's so adorable and so clever. Clover, uh, Lucky Clover Dragon, Luck. I love this, I love the rainbow. So beautiful. Mushroom Dragon Illusion. These are so beautiful. Um, Onion Dragon Release. I love this one. I saw a picture of this one online because I did look up, look it up, and there was a couple of pictures. It really wasn't at the time, and this was one of them. And I just oh, left little face. So cute. Orange Dragon Rewards. Pea Paw Dragon Organize. Oh, Peach Dragon Vulnerable. Oh my gosh, so cute. Oh. <laughs> Peanut Butter Dragon, that is adorable. Oh my goodness, Peanut Butter Dragon Companion. Oh, look at this one, Pepper Dragon. Those little red peppers, well, they, they're all different colors. Oh, so cute. Versatile. Pineapple Dragon Hospitality. A lot of them have the butterfly in there too. So I really think this deck's gonna work great with that other deck. Potato Dragon Support. Pumpkin Dragon Mystery. Adorable. Radish Dragon Growth. Raspberry Dragon Kindness. Oh, these are so cute. Spinach Dragon Strength. Squash Dragon Opinions. I like that. You now I'm going to hold that one back and I think I'm going to do the coffee one. I'll do a couple. Uh, Starfruit Dragon Moderation. I love Starfruit. Strawberry Dragon Celebration. Tea Dragon Relax. Tomato Dragon Shine. I love tomatoes too. Honestly, I haven't found a vegetable in here I don't like yet. 
Turnip Dragon Res Resilience, Watermelon Dragon Success, Zucchini Dragon Diversify. All right, these are adorable. Let's see, what's the coffee one? These are in alphabetical order. Oh, they're alphabetical order. Did I miss it? Can broccoli, cantaloupe, carrot, celery, cherry. Oh, oh yeah, I, I missed it. Okie dokie. They're not numbered, but they are alphabetized, which is fine. Okie dokie. Let's go. Coffee and dragon. Okay. Draco Coffee. Okay, so they have, they've given them, it looks like they've given them a, or yes, creators, a um, Latin name, Draco Cerusus. Let's see, Draco Carota. Oh my God, that's funny. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Uh, all right, let's see. Keyword, energy. Appearance. With dorsal spines so fine they look like foam, this animal is a deep brown with oval scales. Each scale bears a slight groove that is offset from the scale above and below it. Cream-colored paws are tipped with matching nails. The young coffee dragon is actually born a pale green that morphs into a dull red before the adult cocoa brown hue appears. Habitat. Usually you will find this creature in high mountain ranges where bushes grow also. They are attracted to hot tubs, hot springs, and any place that offers steamy water. There is an, an unusually large population in, the, in C, the Seattle, Washington area. That's funny. This exquisite flyer is also an ex expert swimmer who enjoys hot water over cold. Field notes. There are several varieties, including the Cafe Au Light, a pale cream hide, and the espresso, brown spines and foot, foot pads as well as the hide. Strangely, the coffee dragons all go through the same colors as juveniles, so it is best to wait for the mature coloration before confidently identifying and classifying the adults. That's so adorable. I love how they took the plant and turned it into a dragon. It's fantastic. That's so cute. Mystical meaning. The coffee dragon is always friendly as it prefers to agitate and stir things up. Oh, I'm sorry. The, <laughs> I read that wrong. The coffee dragon is not always friendly as it prefers to agitate and stir things up. One nip from this nut brown creature can stimulate the blood to a pleasing level of activity, but too much can cause heart palpitations along with a vague irritability. When this dragon turns up, you should look at your own energy levels. Do you need to kick it up a notch or is it time to chill out? That is a good advice. I don't always, most of my coffee that I drink, I'd say half and half, more than half is decaf. Um, because I actually do get heart palpitations sometimes. Oh, I need a sip of coffee as we speak. All of a sudden my voice is getting really dry. Um, throat. Oh, okay. Now, do squash dragon. See, look how cute he is. Look how cute. Oh, so friggin' adorable. I can't believe it. This is so cute. I'm glad I got this deck. And it wasn't expensive either. Plus, there's always a 10% coupon on their site. Squash Dragon. Squash. Squash. There we go. Draco Cucurbita Peppo. Uh, keyword, opinions. Probably the bumpiest of all the garden creatures. The Squash Dragon's wings, tail, and even claws support knobby protrusions. The dorsal spine has these lumps instead of, sp of spines, which is most unusual. The coloration of this reptile is actually seasonal rather than related to maturity. From green to orange to yellow, this dragon dragonette changes hues depending on the season. It is the only one of its species known to do that. Habitat. Spread out is the best way to describe this dragon's preferred home. You won't find them living right on top of one another. Instead, they seem to enjoy finding broad leaves to rest under. A shady spot seems to be the most desirable place for this animal. While their field notes, while there are several varieties of the squash dragon, this one is nicknamed Crooked Neck. 
researchers aren't sure why other than the flexibility of the neck researchers aren't sure why other than the flexibility of the neck it can be straightened out if necessary but it also but is generally held in a very tight s shape also of interest the older the creature the bumpier and thicker the skin this dragon is accepting of himself and all the other odd shaped dragons in the garden look how cute he's so cute love him mystical meaning here is a reminder about your lack of of a thick hide. Are you letting too many things bother you? Do people seem to thread on your feelings all the time? Examine what is really happening. If every little thing chafes, it may be how much power you give others. Other people's opinions belong to them. You can only control your own thinking. When others put you down, turn your head. When others put you down, turn your head. Hmm. Let it bounce off. Don't give away your power by trying to control others' opinions. I agree. You know what? Everybody has an opinion. You know, they're like noses, and it doesn't really matter. And you know what? Opinions change. And even if they don't, it doesn't really matter. Let's go to, let's just do this quick one, this one real here, real quick here. Apple Dragon. Let's do that one real quick, because I like the, the idea that says health. So, Draco Malum Delicios. Eliskios. Okay, that's how good my Latin is. <laughs> uh, keyword is health. Shiny of wing, the apple dragon is noted for several things. The first is a lustrous sheen to the scale. Although there is a slightly waxy feel to the hide, this creature gleams. Accents of green at the snout and appendages set off the white of the underwings and abdomen. The eyes are able to rotate to 360 degrees, giving it an amazing range of sight. The apple dragon sports spines that radiate from its brow all the way to the base of its tail, or the tail. While there are many varieties, here we see the delisqueous variety known for its sweet smell. That would be the red delicious, which honestly is not my favorite at all. I don't know, there's just a, it has a taste that I'm not a fan of. I personally... I like Macintosh, but hey, that's me. But he's adorable. This is a decidedly arbor-loving animal. You can rarely find this dragon far from its preferred tree, its social creature. The apple dragon prefers to be around its own kind. It congregates in orchards with a sharp-eyed dragon watcher can catch glimpses of its busily of it, but busily flying from tree to tree, exchanging the latest news with its brethren. Field notes, the spines of the dragon are easily detached without damage to the creature. When it roars, the sound of the sound is similar to the buzzing of trees of bees. Typically a sweet natured creature, this is one of the most easily tamed of all the garden dragons. They are easy breeders in captivity. The myriad of variety makes this one of the most common of all the dragons. Oh, if only, if only I would do anything to have a dragon. Yep, I would do anything. Okay. Mystical meaning. When the apple dragon arrives, it is time to think about your healthy habits. The fellow, this fellow reminds you to choose nutritious and natural snack, snacks. I don't know what's wrong with my mouth today. I keep adding extra shh in there. Maybe also add more movement to your daily activity. Gather your friends to share in the sweetness of camaraderie as well. Look for juicy events to bring you the opportunity to spread happiness in your world. Health is a main ingredient for this dragon. You should make make it part of your everyday routine as well. I love that. This is just adorable. I uh, I don't even know how I found this deck. I honestly don't even know how I found this deck. I can tell you that as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to have it. And I was just, I'm just so glad. It's just so awesome. Now, the cards are not big. I mean, they're not thick. But they actually, they feel like good quality. Um, but they're the perfect size to shuffle. Because look, how, you know, my hands fit there perfectly. So it's a, it's, it's a good size deck. It's not a huge deck. And they didn't cost very much. So I, I love it. I love it, you guys. I hope that you enjoy this video. I hope that if you like it, You'll get the uh, the deck. I don't get paid for any of this. These people don't even know I'm doing these reviews. They have no idea, and it's fine by me. I, they don't need to know me. I don't need to know them. Uh, I do it just because I find it really a lot of fun. It's very relaxing, 
and um, I will recommend most decks because honestly, if I'm getting them generally 99.9% .9 of the time, it's because I'm interested in the deck for myself. And the only time I wouldn't recommend the deck is if it was, I don't know, really like expensive and very, very cheap, then I'd say, you know what, take that into consideration. Other than that, I mean, this is not, this is great. I mean, the price was good. The quality is fine. The, the, as you can see, it's got a teeny tiny bit of a shine, but it's, it's more matte, I want to say. But it does have a little bit of a shine. But it feels good. They feel nice on my hands. They, they almost have like, I want to say kind of a wax feeling to them. I don't know. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. I hope you have a fantastic day. Take good care of yourselves. And let's all be good and kind to each other and honestly to ourselves. Blessings and thank you.